Installing your 8 fun mid drive in a 68 millimeter bottom bracket with 1 and 3 8 inch 24 internal thread. First remove left crank arm. You will need a universal crank arm remover tool to complete this task. Remove right crank arm. If you have a front derailleur, you won't be needing it with the 8 fun mid drive so you can remove it. Finish removing the bottom shaft assembly by removing the bearing cup lock nuts and then unscrew the bearing cups that are located inside the bottom bracket and take out the crankshaft. Starting mid-drive assembly. Install the steel chain ring to the mid-drive motor as shown making sure the offset is facing the motor and making sure you use lock nuts with the screws. Then add on the plastic chain ring cover being careful not to over tighten the screws but make sure they're firmly seated. Installing the mid drive. At this point take a look inside the bottom bracket sleeve Make sure there is no restrictions internally. Sometimes there is a plastic piece that is being held on with a screw on the underside of the bike. Make sure it is removed. Then slide the 8 fun mid drive motor unit into the tube and make sure it is seated. Don't forget to reinstall the screw that you took out on the plastic piece on the lower side of the bottom bracket. Next install the retainer plate to the mid drive unit making sure the teeth on the plate are facing the motor unit or facing the bottom bracket. They will be engaging the bottom bracket to keep the unit from rotating. Next insert the two 6 millimeter screws with lock washers into the retaining plate and lightly tighten. At this point rotate the motor clockwise stopping just short of the bottom frame or stopping just short of the cables that may run underneath that frame. Now tighten the two 6 millimeter screws firmly. Next install the thick slotted retaining nut and then tighten as tight as you can. Next install the thin slotted nut and tighten it as firmly as you can. Next you're ready to reinstall the new crank arms Make sure you look for the L on the arm that you're installing on the left side and the R for the arm that you're putting on the right side. Next install the pedals on the left side. Be aware that these are left hand threads. So turn the pedal counterclockwise on the left side as you're installing it and turn it clockwise on the right side when you're installing. It's very important to know that you need to tighten these pedals very tight using a long arm wrench such as the one shown in the video. Installing the wiring harness. Run all three wires coming out of the motor up the back side of the motor. Then wire tie the battery cable to the seat post tube. Wire tie the control cable on a tube heading toward the handlebars. And lastly, curl the cable for the speedo sensor around the back frame, terminating at the speedo sensor itself. Next, install the magnet on the spokes of the rear wheel facing the speedo sensor, leaving about 1 16th of an inch clearance between the magnet and the sensor. Once you've established the position of the speedo sensor, Tighten the screw in the side of that sensor arm to lock it in place. Now you can attach the main wiring harness to the motor control cable. Make sure you line up the arrows on the two mating pieces before you firmly push them together. Next you'll need to uninstall the handlebar grips in order to complete your installation. Decide where you would like to put the components that are remaining on the handlebars 
and lock them in place. Now you can reinstall your handle grips and then neaten up your wiring job using wire ties. Make sure to trim all the excess off the wire ties so that your installation looks nice and clean. At this point, connect the cable to your battery and you're ready to ride.